British Sex for the 2016 running, the 34th Auto Speed National Bangers Championship of the World. Those famous words. Gentlemen, start your engines. No oh, great flag is down, Tuffin takes the opportunity but misses out and Pikey in the lead then. In 190, Steve Bailey from Boxer Jack in 331, Jason Jackson and Gary Madrid in 33. So Jack Tuffin in 717, he had to take that chance and he missed it. Particularly with Steve Bailey, 190, just possibly there, going a little bit too soon. But 190 and 331, two of the biggest names in National Banger Racing, shooting clear and it's a battle for supremacy between those two. But when we lurch in 452, Anthony Sleeman and Gary Magic in 33. Who have we lost? We've lost Kyle Overy in 17, we've lost Lips in 45, and Jack Tuffin, who went early on, of course, in 717. But here comes the nudge for the lead as AD Brown takes no show. Paul Smalling out in 714, side by side between them as Jason Jackson, Boxer Jack, up on the inside of Steve Bailey to take up the running. So Jason Jackson, Boxer Jack takes it up. Andy Brown and Paul Smalden still have it head to heads down there on the bottom bend. The question is, is whether or not anyone's going to go up the back and blow up the trivia. Oh, Andy Brown. So, so Ryan Sparks has taken a hit down there from Nemesis in 239. We get the thumbs up. Brett, it's uh, Brett Ellicott who does go up the back of Andy Brown. So the world title is going there for Brett in 162. Of course, Paul no longer part of the DWO team, but uh, certainly some uh, loyalty is still there. And here we are, back with the lead then for Boxer Jack, Jason Jackson. As uh, Sprout goes in on Bam, and we get to check on the well-being of Bam up there in 99, because he did take a, a bigger of Bam as uh, 374 up the back of uh, Brett Hennicott. And now Sprout's going to go to the back of 374, so it is all going off down there on the pit bend as Boxer Jack completes another lap. Pike, he's got nothing to offer Jason Jackson here in 331. And can they stop it? That's the thing. So now Sprout on the back of Broxy. Broxy already up the back of A.D. Brown. So what happened at the end of the back straight is now ended up at the front of the home straight for Paul Smolden and A.D. Brown. As uh, Sean Brokenshire gets one from two in 917. And we've got a problem down there with a red flag. It could well be for Brokenshire or Bam. So the red flag's out. All cars must stop straight away. So we're back to racing with Jason Jackson, Boxer Jack in 3-3-1. Steve Bailey, Pikey, 190. Lurch is running in 34-5-2. So Matt Marcus for Tommy Hutchins in 3-8-2. And Liam Blake in 1-1-4. As we lose, uh, that's Matthews in 3-7-2 and 2 in 9 one seven. Is Lips going to go in on the back of Jay Matthews? Indeed he does, so Lips goes piling in and joins the pile up. Meanwhile in the race. So we've got a problem then for Jay Matthews in 372. So we go straight back to red flag, straight back to red flag. All cars must stop. So green flag is down and as they come towards us, it will be halfway. The Union flag is set by Steve Bailey then goes in with a hit. It's between these two, still some way back to Lurch in 4-5-2, but are two of the biggest names in National Bangers going to trip each other up? Steve Bailey seems to have found a bit more speed this time, then goes the bumper down there on Jason Jackson in 3-3-1. Pikey looks up on the inside of Boxer, Boxer the hell drops him in the straight. So once again, then Steve Bain looks up on the inside of Jason Jackson. Jason with an awful sort of uh, steering there in his efforts to keep ahead. Lurch is moving up into one of his moving up to third. Could well be Jonesy for fourth in three, four, one. As we get another one piling in here, and so well, it's just Lips has crashed into the pile up that he helped create, basically, in 45. And it will be five laps next time. Five laps next time. Between these two big guns, who's it going to be? Is it going to be the driver from East London? 3-3-1, Boxer, Jack, Jason Jackson, or the driver from Devon, from Exeter, 190, Steve Bailey, Pikey. Jonesy looks like he's going to slide up on the inside to go up into third place, demoting Lurch in 4 5 two. 
So here we go with four to go. It's starting to get a little bit slippery in places as the car starts to overheat and spill out a bit of water and moisture from their engines. And as it does so, it appears that Jason Jackson has picked up a bit of traction in Boxer Jack. So three to go. Both these drivers have won this title before. Who's going to win it in 2016? Is it going to be Boxer Jack? Is it going to be Steve Bailey? Is it going to be Andrew Jones if these two trip up with each other? He's still batting away with Lurch. We've got a battle for first and a battle for third in this world final. An ultimate lap then for Boxer in 3-3-1. Steve Bailey just hasn't got any speed to offer 3 3 1 and Boxer Jack. Andrew Jones is he's going to get in for a rare podium place in a Bangor title for thirds. One to go then. I just don't think Steve Bailey is anywhere near close enough here. I think the look on Steve's face says it all. This one has gone away down the back straight for the last time. Terry Hill is lurking, but I don't think he's going to do anything with Boxer in 3-3-1. It's the run to the flag. Pikey does try a nudge, but it is going to be a win then. But Boxer Jack, Jason Jackson, he wins another world title. Gets gold back on the roof of the car. Steve Bailey for second in 190. And Jonesy, that's a rare podium spot for Jonesy. He comes through for third ahead of Lurch. The stragglers come across as well. Gary Webb in six double two, Terry Hill in one three three. And that's pretty much all we've got. So it's red flag to end race number five on today's programme. The 34th running of the Auto Speed World Final. Ha, <laughs> ha,